Thanks, Michelle, for that report. And we're learning more about yesterday's crash on Highway 40 in Lake St. Louis that killed four people. Fox News' Blair Lede tells us what we've learned about the victims. This is the scene of the crash happening on a day filled with love. Four victims from Kentucky will not make it home to their loved ones. My thoughts were I just, I prayed for the family and I was hoping, you know, that there's no kids involved and that everybody was okay. Authorities say a pickup truck lost control, drove through the median and cable wires and slammed into this minivan head on. Amanda Yates was caught in the traffic as authorities responded. And whenever you got on there, you can look in the rearview mirror and I just seen a bunch of emergency lights all the way across and I, I knew that it was bad. Missouri State Highway Patrol later confirmed 44 year old Carrie McCaw and 44 year old Leslie Prather were pronounced dead on the scene. Two 12 year old girls who authorities have not yet named were taken to a nearby hospital and later pronounced dead. I could only imagine when the families got that phone call. Fox 2 put in calls to Sweden's Concrete Services in Wentzville. That's who the truck veering into oncoming traffic is registered to. We're still waiting to hear back. I have three children of my own. I could not imagine going through something like this. Blair Lede, Fox 2 News. Authorities say that truck also hit another car with two people inside. They are okay this morning. Fox 2 has also learned that Leslie Prather was a firefighter with the Louisville, Kentucky Fire Department. The four people killed were heading to a volleyball tournament in Kansas City. The event director says they will hold a moment of silence today in honor of the victims before the first serve of the first game. The organization released a statement that reads in part, everyone connected to the Triple Crown NIT is devastated at learning of the loss of four members of the family. We will stand by them this moment, along with all of the families and loved ones. Well, a staff member at McClure High School has been arrested and charged with sexual contact with a student. 29-year-old Willie Williams is in the school supervision supervisor. Florissant police say that he sent inappropriate messages to a student on social media more than once. He's also accused of engaging in sexual contact with that student. Williams is being held at the St. Louis County Justice Center on a $50,000 bond. The Illinois prison on lockdown due to a flu outbreak has lifted the quarantine for most of the facility. Prison officials say all housing units at Southwestern Illinois Correctional Center in East St. Louis are off quarantine, except for one. Earlier this week, the prison reported at least 60 inmates with the flu. The final unit in quarantine will be back in normal service tomorrow. Well, looking for a way to fill those cold days? Marcus Theaters can help you. The Kids Dream Winter Film Series returns next weekend. Some family-friendly favorites will be brought back to the big screen with admission price of just $3. Popcorn and fountain drinks are $2.75. During those showings, the films will play on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 10 a.m. every weekend between February the 21st and April the 5th. Some of those movies include Trolls, The fa Adams Family, and Secrets Life Pets 2. Are you still feeling the love of Valentine's Day? You could celebrate Valentine's weekend. The Riverboats at the Gateway Arch are hosting date night on the Riverboats tonight. The two-hour dinner and twilight cruises include a buffet meal, dessert, live music, champagne flutes, and two complimentary drinks. The cruises are from 4 to 6 or 8 to 10. Tickets are available at gatewayarch.com. Or you can put a little fright into your date night. A Valentine's themed haunted house is open only for one night. That's tonight at the darkness in Soulard. Thrill seekers will find haunted brides, grooms, some grooms and frightening surprises around every corner. The event also includes Valentine's candy, treats and photos, an opportunity with the darkness monsters. The tickets can be purchased at scarefest.com. A lot of people will be out maybe celebrating Valentine's since they couldn't get out yesterday, maybe just staying in because of the cold weather. Yeah, but today, it's going to be a great day.